Hi, welcome to another LaunchBox tutorial video. I'm David and I'm going to start showing you how to do things with the LaunchBox. Uh, big credit goes to ETA Prime, Unbroken Software, uh, for without them, the emulators, I would never have got a, th a third of the emulators I have running. So let's crack on with it. Right, to start with, find your LaunchBox. Uh, I'm going to keep it on an external hard drive. So, uh, emulators, I'm going to show you how to do uh, a Commodore Amiga. Uh, right, so, emulators. You obviously already have RetroArch already set up in your system. All you have to do, uh, go to the XCA RetroArch. Uh, and I'll show you, but things may just take a little bit of time, because I've only just started doing it. So, so let's open RetroArch. Right, hopefully it's still recording. Uh, what you need to do is do your uh, content or core update. So load core, nope. Uh, load content, content online update, that's it. Core downloader. Make sure you find the PUAE uh, core on here and download it and install it. Uh, it is here, there it is. In the first one of the Commodore ones. Just download that, install it, uh, and update it if necessary. Uh, once you've done that, you can quit this. I just, I'm using a joy pad, so I'm just pressing circle. I'm using the PlayStation pad. Uh, circle twice and back, and that quits. Once you've got that core in there, done. What you need to do is move to the RetroArch now. Right. Uh, so, RetroArch there. Uh, there you go. Look at that. So what you do is tools, uh, manage emulators. Click on manage emulators, find RetroArch, edit uh, associated platforms. Now, further down here, you will have to enter Commodore Amiga. Uh, I've already set mine up as you can see. Uh, so click in Commodore Amiga, type that in. Uh, exactly how high I have it. When it comes to the core, you need to double click there and you will come up with the core. There it is. It's it's just near the, uh, uh, what are the cores near it? PSP core, just in case you're struggling to find it. Uh, there it is. Obviously tick default emulator, click OK, and then close. And then it should already start setting itself up once you've installed a few uh, Amiga games which come in is it ADF format uh, please correct me if I'm wrong uh, yeah and this is what you'll end up with looking like I've just started it on early days you swap the disc pretty much like on most consoles that two disc you press your retroarch hotkey and then insert the second disc and then it carries on loading so I'll show you a game working uh, installing a game is dead straightforward. You already probably already know how to do the games by now. So what you need to do is import ROM files. Uh, oh, I, I pressed the wrong one. Steam cancel. Uh, my bad. Uh, import ROM files. There we go. Next, add folder. Now in your uh, launch box main folder you will have had somewhere called games and now I've already done mine but you should have already have done this click in a folder call it Commodore Amiga and the games are in there you can just add the folder you don't need to click on it just click on it once and then select folder uh, and that's pretty much where your Amiga's at uh, we'll carry on with the little bits that just to help and let you see one running so yeah, once you've added the games, you can add them as many, much as you like. There's over 40,000 Amiga games. Uh, some of my favourite ones, uh, which I like playing. A, f a stable game, a horse racing game. That was it. The Stable Master. So all you do, double click it, it loads up. The Commodore Amiga has a virtual keyboard, which is select on your control pad. You can hear the disc loading up, giving you the authentic. You can't skip the speed. You can use your mouse, your keyboard, and the virtual keyboard. This game's a mouse, just click as you used to do with an Amiga, you used to click past the paradox bit. 
but it's real-time loading with the Amiga. So if you're playing something like Beneath a Steel, a Steel Sky, that's like 12, 15 discs. If you want to play them faster, you're probably better playing an emulator on its own, not with Retro, uh, not with Launchbox. <coughs> so, see how we're going on here. It is real-time loading. I used to love this game. Uh, one player, click OK, input your name, the first name, and then it'll come up with a virtual keyboard if you try and press it again. Virtual keyboard, move with the D-pad, just type in so, uh, Dave, press the start button on your joypad, press the, sl the select button, and it drops the virtual keyboard away. But the game's still loading as you can hear. Oh, I used to really, really love this game. I think I spent weeks on it. Uh, never really understood it, but I, I, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, that's the game working. Quit. You just quit it the same way you always quit RetroArch. And it's done. Uh, hopefully that's been of use to you. Please hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, I will be doing a Neo Geo CD, which is one of the most notorious consoles to emulate very shortly. Uh, I've managed to get it going. Got to give credit to uh, ETA Prime and Unbroken Software. I do recommend getting the covers from EMU Movies. Uh, I'm started just to get some covers now. Uh, I will get more. Uh, there's plenty to go on. Oh, Boxing Manager. I did love that one. So, yeah. Hope you like this video. Any comments about any of the consoles you can see here, which we're not talking about at the moment, uh, I'll answer as best I can for you as to how to get them to run. Have a good time. See you later.